Hi. You want a drink? Can you say please? Good job. All right. Woohoo! <laughs> Good job for not drowning yourself. All done? <laughs> you blink bubbles, huh? You drank it all. Good job. It's empty now. <laughs> so Bubs has been drinking out of a straw cup forever and she never really used her bottles when I was pumping milk. So she doesn't get the whole tilt thing, but I decided to just give it a try again. I wasn't really very interested with it for a while but last week I just took away all her straw cups and gave her her 360 cup which um, you have to tilt up and she picked that up that same day <laughs> she never really cared for it before but for some reason last week she was just being a big girl in so many levels and reaching so many big girl milestones all of a sudden so I decided to give her the cup and she picked it up really fast and now she doesn't even use the sippy anymore. She just uses a regular cup like this without spilling on herself. So yeah, I don't know what happened to this girl. She just oh grew no. up oh no. like she just, I don't know, too fast. I was just saying at the last vlog that she didn't like the lid on the goblet thing, but she's been using it nonstop since yesterday. Look at it. Look at it. Practice makes perfect, huh, Bubs? And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yay! It works! Hi. You need help? Huh? You got stickers? Oh. Wow, here you go. Wow, you're stacking them? More? More, please. Please. There you go. Yeah. How about we put it on your sticker book? We need to make you a bookshelf, my darling. Haha. -ha. Here you go. Look, it goes in here. Your sticker book. Ooh. Do you like that? Oh, she doesn't like that. She wants it on her hand. Okay, we'll put it on your hand. We'll do it however way you want it, huh? More? More? More, please? Uh huh. Good spot for it, huh? Not bad, huh? You guys can't really see. It's a different color because I don't have green um, polymer clay, but yeah. I'm gonna go on this one. I'm gonna paint it green. Yeah. Painting. Wow, good job. Wow. Painting my. All done? See, all done? Wow, you did such a good job. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Good job. Good job. Look at the little swirls. We just finished um, painting. Now we're going to do some cooking. We're just going to make her own oatmeal. Stir, stir, stir. You're doing great, Bobs. Okay, I'll help you. Oh, don't touch the pan. It's not even hot. It's just starting to warm up. Good job, Bobs. Alright, now we're gonna add more. We're gonna add more.
one more oatmeal. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Did you uh -oh. hurt yourself? Here, get some more. Good job. All right, now pour it in. Good job. More, more. One more, and then that's it. All right, okay, we'll stop for now, and then we'll stir. Here you go. Don't touch the pan, don't touch the pan. I hold you like this. Good job, okay. Hold the handle of the pan right here. Give me your hand. Hold right here, good job. And then hold right here. Good job. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I need two hands now, it's getting hot. Look at this guys, she outgrew this chow already, she doesn't really like it anymore, but um, it's been a couple of months now and I need to clean the kitchen, <laughs> so I have to put her on there and so she can eat and um, usually I've been letting her do her own thing while I clean the kitchen, but she started climbing my desk, I don't want her to fall and hurt herself, so she'll be strapped into a chair today like a baby, so you can eat your own oatmeal. Ta-da! Have fun. <laughs> like the good old days, huh, bubs? Yeah? Okay. You guys, I will show you the reason why I need to strap her in the kitchen. This needs my undivided attention. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> she doesn't like spills, though. She doesn't like getting dirty. So, we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, ever since I made bread, I haven't done the dishes, so it needs to be done now. Uh, there's actually not a lot, it's just big items, big bowl, big that, and then for some reason this didn't get thrown away before it was on the sink. But it's okay, we shall clean it. I used to stress about mess all the time, like if it was messy, I would be very upset, my mood would be terrible, and I would just... I don't know, I, I would be a real grouch about it, but I don't know, I just, I just stop being upset over things that I have no control over and just stop being upset about things that don't really matter. I mean, it's good to keep your house clean and if you are on top of that, that's amazing, good job. Um, but I work from home, it's, it's really... I sew all day long and Anthony works all day long too. Even if we work from home, we work more hours than we do than we did when we had conventional jobs. So and also we have a toddler and she just explodes everything right after you fix it and I just I just learned to not be stressed about things that doesn't really require me stressing out because really it doesn't benefit anybody it just makes me feel terrible so if it's messy I just clean it up when I have the chance and it's fine um, our house is lived in <laughs> and I'm gonna be really sad that when the day comes that our house is immaculate again like when we first moved in here um, we were such neat freaks and everything was clean, everything was in order, everything was in its right place. When that day comes again, I'm gonna be really sad because that means there's no little feet running around the house messing up everything because they, they've all grown up <laughs> and I'm gonna cry now. So yeah, um, messy house, lived in house, I it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine. We have a roof over our head even though it's messy underneath it. We have full bellies and we have lots of love in our family and I think that's all that matters really. Every, everything else is just extra. <laughs> it's just extra. So we're good. We're good. And she looks like she's doing really good. Alrighty. One, two, three. <gasps> I decided to put a sheet underneath her because oatmeal and carpet don't mix very well. Look at that. Alright baby girl. Do your thing. Kitchen is clean. Got myself a smoothie. Now I'm gonna try to go back to work if I can. I'm painting these now because I don't have the right. Um, I don't know if I've shown you guys, but I made ivy leaves out of polymer clay. You're welcome, bubs, to put on the. This is the bow that I finished. This 
is for the Sailor Jupiter costume cosplay thing. And um, I know this is supposed to be pink, but there's a touch of poison ivy in the uh -oh. costume. So this is what this looks like. Woohoo! Are you the crazy girl? Doink! <laughs> I made beer bread for the second time today and it's so much more better than the first try. Look at that. That's the color I was looking for. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yummy. Yay! Woohoo! I figured out what was wrong. You guys gotta come with me. Ah, we're in the laundry house now. <laughs> I had to run in here because my timer went off, but turns out I have three minutes left. Anyway, I was saying, uh, I figured out what was wrong with my first bread. Um, I didn't realize that I had instant yeast instead of dry active yeast, so I actually tried to activate it first. And I thought I killed the yeast, but I went on with it anyway because I was being stubborn. So um, it turns out um, instant yeast, I don't have to activate in water. I can just throw it in with the flour, which I did this time. And <coughs> excuse me, it's really <coughs> stuffy in here. Anyway, um, turned out perfectly. The dough rose the way we're supposed to, and I didn't have cornmeal the last time too, so I had to pry it off the bottom because I just sprinkled flour. Um, so today I used parchment paper and I just cut off the edges so it doesn't get all smoky in the oven. Um, so yay, oh, I'm sorry, wax paper. Parchment paper is perfect, but wax paper, if it, a lot of the surface is, is exposed, then it starts smoking all over the place. So. I got that one right. So, yay! I'm happy. This bread is going to be so much better. I'm excited. By the way, there is this new feature on YouTube on the analytics side of it where you can view um, whether or not your viewers or the majority of viewers are subscribers or not. And so I checked today and it looks like like 80% I would say or let's go to 70% of the people who watch the videos are not subscribed to our channel. And this is probably mostly um, from my Split Tongue Tricks video because that has um, the most views on, the, on all of my videos. Uh, but if you are watching this and you are not subscribed, I invite you to please subscribe to our videos if you want to. Um, it's free, it doesn't cost you a thing. The only thing it does is that it lets you know when we have a new video. And um, we do vlogs. Uh, I do videos about cloth diapers because that's what I do for a living, aside from YouTube. I make cloth diapers and I sell cloth diapers and cloth diaper related items and baby clothes. and pretty much children's apparel under for kids under five. And um, Anthony does beer stuff. And sometimes we do cooking tutorials and sewing tutorials. And we just pretty much have everything in this channel. And I have considered making a different channel. In fact, I did make an official We Are The Strange YouTube channel because for those of you who've been following us for a long time know that this channel used to be just for body modification. Um, back when I was modeling still as Biohazard. So this channel is called Biohazard 2886. Um, day I was born and year I was born. That's just what the numbers mean, which is actually a frequently asked question. But yeah, um, if you want to subscribe to us, please do so. I would very much greatly appreciate it. Speaking of subscribing to channels, by the way, a lot of you have been really interested in more sewing tutorials. And it's, um, I do a lot of sewing every day, but most of the time it's for orders and I have to do so much of them at a time that I don't get to film the process of everything. But if you guys are interested in like sewing and crafting tutorials, I will put a link below of my friend's YouTube channel. Her name is Whitney and she has sewing and crafting videos, um, pretty much about everything, cosplay, baby stuff bags and everything in between and um, she reached 50,000 subscribers a couple months before I did and um, I uh, read on her Facebook that she has a goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers before she turns 30. I believe we're the same age. I think she's also 28 and she has two years to go and so I'm sending you guys there if you want 
uh, to watch tutorials about everything awesome, please go check her channel out. Usually if it's something I've never made before and I need a tutorial, I just go to her channel and check it out. So yeah, you guys, go check out her channel. She's awesome. Okay, I gotta go now. You guys, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Look at this. We're gonna slice it now because we can't wait until it's cooled down before I slice it. So I need to see the inside. Ooh. Oh yes. See how much better that is than the first one? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. There we go. It's beautiful. Yay! It's <laughs> a little bit hard to write on this considering you wrote on it all over with your crayons. Okay, let's start with the letter A. It's always the letter A. Look, Bubs! She's like, no, I don't care. Letter A. Ooh! Here, here, try this one. Oh! Oh! Oh, what? Good job putting it back. A, C. A, B, C. Again. A is for apple. Apple. Ant. Uh oh. It's for Ara. That's your name. Hey, yes. What's this? Here you go. Oh, A. This is better, huh? No, that's yes. not E. That's A. A, A B, C, G. A, T. A, E, C, G. A. A. Are you filling in the inside? A. A, D. Uh huh, like this. Okay. Let's erase it. You gotta go all the way. There you go. All done. Good job. What's next? Why don't you write? Let's see what you want to write. Oh, apparently I'm the only one allowed to write. Okay. Um, let's do the next letter. B. B. There you go. B is for Bubs. B. B, good job. Good job. B is for Bubbles. B, C, D. C, D. Can you say B first? B? A, T. Well, I have this to do. Sort and stuff. Anthony's been doing them the last couple of times. I just wish I did not buy too many pocket divers when we were starting out. About 98% of our stash is pocket diapers. And stuffing them gets pretty old <laughs> after a while. So, it's time to say goodnight. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Ugh, don't strangle me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot. No, don't do that. And if you want to, please subscribe for more videos. <laughs> Bye. Mwah. Blow them kisses. Give me kisses. Oh my god! <gasps> How rude. Apegios. Kili, 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 kili. Okay, no more. Bye bye. Thank you.